Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! You packed in the morning, I... Stared out the window and I struggled for something to say. You left in the rain without closing the door. I didn't stand in your way. Now I miss you more than I missed you before and now. Where I'll find comfort, God knows. Cause you left me just when I needed you most mm -hmm. you left me just when I needed you most should we do one more verse ready now most every morning I stare out the window and I think about where you might be I've written you letters that I like to send if you would just send one to me cause I need you more than I needed before and now where I'll find comfort God knows cause you left me just when I needed you most oh yeah you Just when I needed you most. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Okay, that is a way back, right? Because I've never sung it before, Effingham. That's the first time. So that's by, like, it's I don't, it's got to be a one-hit wonder. Randy Van Warmer. So it totally makes me thinking of sk skating, roller skating back in the days, right? You left me and you're just rolling along. Okay, anyway. Anybody, how many of you does that take you way back to your school days? All right. So I walked in somewhere and that song was playing and I was like, oh my, oh my gosh, like have not heard that song in so long. All right. So there you go. Hey, you guys, welcome. Today is holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. It's a shopping Saturday and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. So, woo, I got some good stuff today. Stick around. You're going to want to see this. All right. If you're new to the channel, Hello, welcome, I hope you stick around. Of course, if you really like me, give me that thumbs up. And you can always subscribe, I mean, it is free. And for all my besties, welcome back. You guys know that this channel is Dollar Tree, 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 and only Dollar Tree, right? All right, so we do hauls, we do food tastings, we do crafts. For all my besties, I know you're wondering where my craft videos are. So it seems like every January is hard for me. Um, I have like a dozen lanterns made and I'm trying to, every time I think I'm done, like I think of another idea and I'm going to do one more. So keep your fingers crossed. It should come out this week, but I'm not going to promise anything because it's just very, it is a busy time of year for me. So, all right, let's go. Let's dive right in. Guess what I do not have? There is absolutely no food in this haul. Can you, what? I feel like the kid from Home Alone. What? Yeah, I know. Shocking. Absolutely no food. Oh, okay, you're right. There's a dog, but dog food. There's a dog treat item. That's not really food, Effingham. Okay, all right, you consider it food, it's not. We consider you food, okay? <laughs> all right, so, um, hey, let's go. I'm gonna reverse it. So normally I save holiday stuff for the end. I'm not, I'm moving it forward. We're doing holiday stuff first. I have two Valentine's things. So I'm doing Valentine's next week. I pulled out my stuff today, actually. So this is an item I've never seen there before. This is new to me, and it's called the Hanging, Hanging Heart Chandelier. I'm actually going to open it up and show it to you guys, and then I'm going to tell you why I purchased it. So um, it's kind of a, it's it's like a paper decoration, right? It's just a bunch of hearts hanging, you know. It's just a bunch of hearts hanging. But I thought, so cool heart cutouts already, right, with words on them. And so I was thinking that this would be great. It's actually kind of cute, you guys. 
That's really shockingly cute. Hmm. So cute for like a teacher, you know, decoration in the room or I don't know. Okay, it's actually cute. Very cute. Well, I was looking at, and how cute would it be to get this and then tie a bunch of balloons on it so it's weighted just perfectly so it just sort of hangs? Oh, cute idea. Okay, but I bought it because of the patterns on here, and I was like, ooh, I could decoupage these onto wooden hearts that I have all over, and that was really honestly what I thought. Now that I've opened it up, though, mm, it is super cute, you guys. That's a really adorable little decoration. I'm not going to take the time to put it back in the bag right now. I will later. And then the only other thing that I got for Valentine's, which I found and I was excited about, was this. So it is, I've seen people haul them. It's the door hanger. So in case you haven't seen one, let me open this up for you. And then I will tell you what my idea for this is. I'm actually gonna give this away because I'm, I'm just not around enough to decorate. But these go on your door. It's like a, it's like a, um, you know, they make the garden flag material out of this. So, I mean, it doesn't have to go in your door. It could literally go anywhere. But I thought this one was super cute. It's all the little hearts. Super cute for like a kid's bedroom door decoration. Hang it anywhere where you have a wall because it just goes down. So it does have grommets at the bottom of it so you can tie it down. And they had other designs. This was just the design I thought was actually the cutest. And um, it's really not bad. It's a plastic thing in here hanging anyway whatever it's cute it's a buck 25 you've just i mean you just honestly you can't beat it for a buck 25 it is fraying slightly on the ends so this isn't any quality piece it may just be good for one year especially if you stuck it outside on your door but they had a couple of different um designs i picked this one and just like their garden flags i'm sure it's going to fade pretty quickly when you put it outside but if you had a normal welcome sign that wasn't seasonal, I mean, this would be cute. You could drape over your welcome sign that leans on your front porch as an option, right? Okay, I'm sitting here winding it up while I'm talking to you. That's just done. I can do that later. Okay, so the, then the next thing I picked up was a couple of the Easter things. I'm not buying anything more Easter because I don't need it. But I wanted to show you a couple things. So first is I only grabbed one tree, but it's because it's purple. I don't want the eggs in it. I just kind of want to remove them, which I will. Um, I wanted the purple tree for Halloween. You know how much I love Halloween. Um, I love making Halloween decorations. So I grabbed it. I'm literally going to throw this in my Halloween decorations because I want this purple, which I think is such a... If you guys watch my stuff and you watched last Halloween, I made all this purple and black. Like everything was purple and black. So I just thought this color was more Halloween. than, And I would just paint the base black. Anyway, you get where I'm going. And then um, some little trees. So these are Christmas trees that they're making carrots. They've turned them upside down on the stands. Can you guys see this? I'm not sure. It's going blurry. There. Is it blurry? Ah, focus, focus camera. There we go. So they're just bottle brushes. It doesn't like the background. They're bottle brushes. And they just turn them upside down. They're orange and they put little greenery out the top of them. Okay, cute. But I really do want to make my little Easter house. Like I've done the Halloween one, the Christmas one, next I'm gonna do Easter, and so these would be perfect for that. And then I just thought, man, these are cute. So they're bottle brush trees again. These are Christmas trees that they're repurposing for Easter, but they have a little hanger on them and a little um, greenery raffia liked on the top of them. So I got them at first, but they're Easter carrots. So I haven't seen these before. Did I miss them last year? So I just got the two because I'm gonna make um, like, I wanna do a wreath, follow me here, like an Easter wreath and then have stuff hanging off of it. And so I would have carrots hanging off it. Only three, I'm not gonna do four, never do anything in even numbers, you guys know how I am. However, maybe I can just add these to it. Then the final thing I got for Easter was these and I'm, I love these. Now these I think are super cool. They're straws or balloon sticks with bottle brush trees on them upside down to look like carrots. So, and they have the raffia on the top. Now I would actually probably replace this with something um, a little more um, greenery looking, but what a great thing to stick into an already existing, um, what's the word I want? Floral arrangement. So I only got two, just got one of each color, mostly just to show you, I would probably use them on a wreath, but if I really had my house completely decorated, 
and I was gonna do Easter decorations. These are exactly the kind of things that you put into a centerpiece on a table that's a floral arrangement already, just to pop that little bit of holiday into it. So they've used something thicker than, let me show you here, this is a good way to show you. So see this bottle brush tree and then the, and the yellow one and the orange? The yellow and the orange on these seem to be a thicker, like flocking, it's weird. Just the bristles are thicker, so whatever they're coloring or flocking them with is a thicker consistency than normally what we see on the bottle. I don't think you guys are gonna tell here, maybe. But anyway, so it's a little bit different. Okay, that's it. That's all I got in holidays. Holidays, because... I'm not decorating you. No, I'm not going to put anything on you for Valentine's. Maybe a heart. Maybe I'll hang a heart from your mouth. Or Easter. Okay? I know you like carrots, but I'm not. No. Okay, so doggy aisle. One deck. So I always go down the doggy aisle for my dear little Jack. So these are kind rewards, bare bones. I've actually gotten these for him before. And every once in a while, I just grab a different thing because we have a whole treat thing under the sink. That's where we teach him to sit, lay down, dance. He does dance really well. Baby, we should film him doing dance. I'll put it at the end of the video. So you say, dance, Jax, and he gets up on his hind legs and twirls around. He needs a, he needs a tutu. I don't even know. Like, yeah. Oh, you would dance? I'm not letting you off the wall. No, effing him. All right. So these are, they are made with real peanut butter dog treat. Anyway, so I'm always buying him different dog treats. I put him in a thing so that it's not always the same thing. So he's got a variety of treats, although his favorite is the buffalo ears, and we all know that. And then this, which is a brand name. I was like, what? Okay, so babe, will you reach behind and grab me one of his little yellow balls? So our dear friend who, she has pit bulls, and we have this little stupid, stupid, I didn't say stupid, with this little silly little chihuahua. So for Christmas, it's funny, I gave her things for her dogs, and then she gave, for Jack, she got him these little balls. They're so cute. They're like miniature tennis balls so they can fit in his mouth. So these are bigger, but these are made for dogs. So I'm going to give these to her dogs for Valentine's Day. But they're dog tennis balls. A buck 25 for three of them. This is distributed by Zoomy. Oh, that's funny. Innovations. You know, because dogs do Zoomies. Spelled differently. But anyway, this is made with non-abrasive felt. It's gentle on their teeth. It's non-toxic. Three balls in here. Like, that's a good buy. So I didn't buy them for Jax because he's got the the ones that she got him. But these apparently bounce really well, too. So look for those if you have dogs or somebody that you, somebody you know has dogs because I think that's a really good buy. Okay, um, down the food container aisle, I found another glass dish. But this one is a rectangle. So I found the, the round ones before. I found one rectangle. Um, and Marcus was super pleased with these. So... If I find any more, I'll be purchasing some more. Um, but this is a buck twenty-five, and it's such a good deal, you guys. And they work phenomenal. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus is behind the camera doing homework. <laughs> He's on the computer. So um, anyway, found those. But then this, which I was like, this is a huge bowl for or container for a buck twenty-five. Check this out. It's as big as my head. Yeah. So Marcus makes it's a. 25 cup, 200 fluid ounce that can fit in here. 5.91 liters. It's huge and it has a snap on. This is not a, this is a really, did you hear it? Wait, let me see if I can do it again. Hold on, push back down. Can you guys hear? Yeah, that's sealed. So it seals really well. So he does bean salad and he makes bean salads from, you know, because we're all vegan now, plant-based. And, um... And so he does, you know, his bean sa salad in, in, anyway, blah, 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 blah. That's what I got this for. It was for his bean salad so he can make it in there. Mix it all in here. Put the lid on it. This is just a nice, you guys, $1.25. That is killing it for a buck twenty-five. Okay, then down the toy aisle. So I grabbed this. At first I thought it was a mermaid gnome. Which I made a mermaid gnome years ago, about two years ago. Came out really cute. Um, and so, but I was like, oh my gosh, it totally looks like a mermaid gnome. So I grabbed it. I was thinking I would make it a mermaid gnome. By the way, it'd be super easy. I would just have to join, take one of these off. There's your mermaid tail. Take these off and or just cover them with a little hat and reverse your, your 
stuff down here. You see where I'm see where I'm going with that? It would be pretty easy to do. So there's my idea. But anyway, I'll probably throw it in the Easter stuff or Valentine's stuff for the kids. One of the kids. Then I found more Harry Potter surprises. So these are going into Easter baskets because they're sort of egg shaped. So they are a buck twenty five on these is phenomenal. So they're Harry Potter Harry Potter Ushis. And I bought them once before, and they've got little characters inside of them, and you don't know which ones they are, but um, the kids love Harry Potter. So, like, that's perfect little Easter basket throw-in. And then this, which is a product I've never seen before, but I was just curious. So the top of the box says, shh, shh, did I do it upside down? So, shh, we're having a problem with blurriness today, aren't we? What's wrong, camera? Okay, I'm not sure. Must be on some wrong setting. Okay, but it says, Among Us, find a hidden figure. Mini figurines. But the one looked like an elephant on the lettering there, and so I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to get it. There's 18 collect, and we're going to open it right now. Are you curious? Are you guys dying? Because I know I am. So it doesn't say it's Toy Keto, Just Toys International. Don't know who they are. Um... And I have no idea what these are going to look like. So there's just a clear um, round close, uh, round sticker that's closing it. So peel that off. And then you open the box. And inside the box is a foil packet. And inside the foil packet is what? So I'm trying to open it carefully in case I want to reseal it back up <laughs> to get to one of the kids. Well, it's not going to happen now. I just ripped it. Okay. That's okay. All right. It is a... And it's so confusing because there's like nothing that tells you anything about it in like, what are you looking for? What are you going to get? This is what we got. I have no idea what this is. It's ugly. Whatever it is. It's pointing at you. It's like a little... Um, I don't know, what what is this? Anybody, anybody? They're calling it Among Us. Okay, so don't bother. Oh, they're sloths. This is the Inner Sloth Company. I just read, it says Inner Sloth Company. So these are like, they just have different sloths that you're gonna collect. If anybody collects sloths, so this is like a complete waste. Okay, but now I know if you want a sloth, these are sloths among us. It doesn't say sloths, but it says find a hidden figure, mini figurines, but it um, contains one random mini figurine, but it's Among Us. Inner Sloth is the name of the company. Okay, well, there you go. Let's move down the beauty aisle, right? Because we just like it. Yeah, sloths are very slow, you are correct. They did, they, that was, it was, yeah. This toy was really slow. Okay, um, so makeup bags. These are new makeup bags and they're really cute. I bought it for Scarlett for Valentine's Day to throw the makeup in her that I've bought her, like her nail stuff and whatnot. But this is a really nice quality makeup bag. Cute little pom-pom on it. Gold accents, super thick. This is, it's Greenbrier, so it is something that I'm sure we'll see. But I was like, it's really, it's a very nice makeup bag. So that's for Valentine's. And then I also got her this, which I thought was really cute. Never seen this name brand before. Madison Tyler. Don't know what it is or who it is. But look, there's like charms hanging off of the... This is so annoying. I'm going to have to fix my camera. Figured it out. Okay. So this is just Madison Tyler with the cute little charms. You know, she's got beautiful red hair. So gold accents look really good on her. And if you look on the side, it's a butterfly. Not that that's obvious. I feel like that actually gets lost in the whole thing. But I thought that was cute to throw into one of her baskets of goodies. This one I got myself. With This is um, scoochy, scunchy, scunchy, scoonchy. Oh, it's not scrunchy. There's no oh, R. Yeah. It's scunchy. Oh, but these are so well made. Beautiful green. I love this. I can't decide if I'm keeping it or sending it to Scarlet. But listen to that clip. Anyway, the scunchy stuff there is such a good buy. Go to any drugstore to buy this stuff. This would at least be $5. It's insane. I don't know why it's there so cheap. I did buy myself one scarf thing. They call it, what do they call it in this? 
multi multi-purpose scarf. So there's this really cool trick that you do with hair and you you take your put your hair in a rubber band and then you put this through the rubber band and then you roll your hair up and you tie it off. It's super cute. Um, a couple of ideas with that. Anyway, it was black, it was polka dot, and um, we're thinking about doing a sock cup kind of party, so there's lots of things. I used to wear scarves around my neck all the time. Anybody, 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 what? Yeah, you know you did. All right, and then I found these, which they're so cute, and I already purchased some that was for a birthday present. Now I bought these for little Valentine's gifts for two little girls that I know, but they are press-on nails for little girls. Like, what? That's so cute. Like, I would have died when I was a little girl. So, a pink and purple. So, I got one of each. I just thought they were so adorable for a buck 25, right? Just as a cute little Valentine. And then I found the socks. The socks. Check this out. What? This, these are Star Wars socks. And there's one, two, three, four, five pairs in here for a buck 25. What does that make him? Like, not even 30 cents, less than 30 cents a pair. And these are Mandalorian. So they've got, it looks like there's two pairs that are the same actually though, because this first pair right here, and then this pair back here look very similar. <coughs> oh, maybe not, maybe this one's, I don't know. What well, doesn't matter. Five pairs of socks in here. They all have Star Wars stuff on them. So Mandalorian, it's Yoda, it's mostly Yoda. This one is the Stormtrooper on there. What? I don't even know. Five pairs, and it is shoe size seven and a half to three and a half. So this is, you know, um, probably eight, nine year olds size, I think. It's been a while, but yeah. And of course, for girls or boys, right? Or any Star Wars Mandalorian lover. I don't care. For they, them, her, he, ha. So <laughs> there's that. Okay. So that was super fun. And I've got to tell you, before we get to the end of the video, my very favorite thing is at the end of the video. It's the last thing I'm going to show you. And then I will do a product demonstration at the very end. So hang on for that because it's hysterical. So down the cleaning aisle, um, I grabbed some cascades. So I was going to do my homework because there's six pods in here. And it's the original, it's, you know, it's the ones that have the little, whatever, it's cascades. And I was like, is that a good buy? I don't even remember anymore. So I was gonna do some checking on it, which I haven't done yet. I, 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 you can, I could have done it, I just didn't do it. Forgot about it actually. But I was gonna grab and see because a lot of times I'll order something like this in bulk online just so I don't have to worry about it for months on end. And um, so it'd been a while since I'd bought any at the, at the Dollar Tree. So I saw the six pack and I was like, oh, I'm gonna double check that. If they are, I'll continue to buy them. And then this is a brand new product and I have a great gift idea for you guys. Anybody that's moving into a new home, new apartment, a new car that they're gonna live in. I don't know, <laughs> Are they moving into something new? So we all know Pine Sol. Pine Sol is of course a name brand, which you can get at the Dollar Tree, which I didn't buy that. But I did buy the three Pine Sol products that I found. I was like, when did this start? So these are Pine Sol eraser sponges. There's three in here, so like Mr. Clean. This is a Pine Sol squeegee, which everybody should use on their showers. Seems to be a very good squeegee, by the way. You know, like some of them, like the ending is, the end is so cheap. It's my favorite color. So um, I'm like, look at these cleaning supplies. And then this though, so we're gonna open it right now and try it. This is a lint roller that has lavender scented. What's the purpose for that? I'm not sure. Is it gonna make your sm clothes smell like lavender while you roll off all the dog hair? I mean, is that is that it maybe? Yeah, there's hardly any lavender scent in there, people. Is it does it get does it get exposed when nah. I'm smelling nothing, FYI. But it's pretty. Um, okay, so but what a cool gift basket idea. Like I said, somebody's moving someplace new. Make them a cleaning basket, gift basket. You could fill it with all the Pine Sol products because they are at the Dollar Tree. I just thought that was really cool. So grab them just to show you. <laughs> right. This does not smell like lavender though. I wonder if I take it down to the next one. Now I gotta open it back up because I'm thinking maybe I didn't. Maybe, where does it start here? Let's just start it in. Oh, you actually, yeah, once you, 
once you start to roll it, you can get some lavender scent. Not massive. I don't, it's just, it's, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. It's not like really a big thing. So I don't know where my thing went now. Um, but lint rollers or lint rollers are always fun to have and necessary when you have animals. So now they have a pine sole one there that's lavender. Okay. Let's keep going, shall we? So I'm so sick of gnomes. Are you guys sick of gnomes? Because I am like just sick to death of gnomes. Oh, okay. They did not. Effingham thinks that the gnomes took over the cow. But you're right. Everything was cow for... Yeah, everything was cow for a long time. And now, okay, it's the gnomes. Don't blame the gnomes. Don't blame the gnomes. Okay, so I'm sick of gnomes. I didn't like him to begin with. And then I tried to conform and I made some gnomes. And I might still even make some gnomes. But I can't stand I just don't like him. I'm so sick of it. But guess what? Dollar Tree took forever to figure out that we wanted gnomes. And now all we're ever going to get is gnomes. Look, I already showed you one gnome. I bought two gnomes, that's all. But I just bought it to you to show it to you. And then I think I cracked the nose, chipped the nose a little bit. But this is... In their fairy garden is where they're saying, which doesn't make sense because this is too big, but, well, for some of it. Anyway, because it's all out of scale. They have a whole set of these. So there's, they, they, I think there's three of them and they're done up like bees, kind of, whatever. I'm gonna probably just clean it up because the painting is always horrible on these things. Like just awful, just awful. So clean it up and then I might throw it into a gift basket or something like that or just throw it out in my garden just for the heck of it take it up to the property where I made my fairy doors that I'm going to put on trees. Although I think he's a little big, but anyway, they're there. That's a new product. Now you've seen it. Okay. And then in their household goods and their, um, candles, I guess candles, but you know, they have a lot of that together, right? They usually like the candles and they'll have the house, the decor pieces and whatnot. Okay. So these are brand new and I really like this. And I was looking like, who's it by? So it's by I Fly Smart. And um, this is, there's a whole series. I got all four. Let me show them to you. All four of these. Okay, so first let me show you. There's four. Now let me explain what they are. This is the candles. These candles take me back on a bucket list worthy vacation. So it's candles called I Fly Smart. And each one in these boxes is a scent that takes you somewhere new. It's kind of clever, actually. I really like it. It's a great gift idea. So this one is Sunshine Orange and Watermelon Wonder. Miami Moments. Okay. So there are two little, no, it's plastic. There are two little, um, you know, tins. What are they called? Yeah, tins. And um, oh my gosh. The watermelon, it smells like a piece of fresh watermelon. Wow, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And this is, again, this one was Miami, Miami Moments, okay? And then this one is, oh, it smells so good. This one is Sunshine Orange. I grew up in California. This totally reminds me of walking by the citrus fields. Impressive, you guys, impressive, really impressive. Now. I don't know how long they burn. I didn't burn one yet, um, but that's okay. We'll find out. So that one is Miami Moments. This one is European Escape. Gosh, if you know somebody that loves to travel or is a traveler, what a cool, I should have bought more of these as a gift because this is just a great gift. Okay, so let's just try it. This one, again, it's European Escape. So the first one is, Interesting, it's a cotton wick on here. Palm wax blend, approximately 12 hours of fragrance. Wow, mini size, mighty scent. So high tea is the top one. It smells like tea. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so, these are gonna be, these are gonna be bathroom candles for me. Small, but mighty, right? And this one is French vanilla. Yeah, these have a beautiful scent, you guys. Oh, if you see them. If you love candles and you love scented candles, you need to try these. Okay, next. Let's go to the next one. This one is Tropical Sunset. I'm going to smell them all for you. I wish you guys could smell them. But you'll, you'll know, right? And they're just so cute. Like the little mini tins are so cute. At first, I thought they were travel candles. You've ever seen those where you take, they're little candles that are made so you can take them with you and burn them in your hotel room so things smell nice? Oh, probably not a smart idea. Now, I mean, this is, 
but they, I thought that's what these were. This is called Pineapple Punch because this one is going to take you on a tropical sunset. It totally smells like a tropical punch. Wow. These guys got their scents down. Man, what's it doing at the Dollar Tree? I don't even know. iFlySmart.com. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's closed. Okay, that one was uh, Pineapple Punch. So good. And this one is Island Daiquiri. Ah. Plus, you guys, you, you know, you could buy these and separate the candles out of the box and, you know, just give them as gifts. This one isn't. Oh, now I smell it. It's not as strong. The Island Daiquiri doesn't seem to be. Or I've just, my nose has smelled so much in the last few minutes that now. Okay. But they, but see what I'm saying? Like you could just take them out of the box, which has two of them. And you could just give little, you know, thinking of you candle gifts. Okay, we're gonna open the last one. And this one is Cabin Fever. So this is definitely winter-ish. They've got the whole snow on the ground in the picture. All right, so these two scents are, I'm making a mess down here. Frosted Forest. Look at this beautiful mint green, by the way. Frosted Forest. Oh, pine, but it's like a clean, it's like a clean linen pine scent, if that makes any sense. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. And this one is First Frost. Yeah. Oh, those are really, they're, oh, you guys, if you see them, buy them. Okay, which by the way, the candle I'm burning back there it was the ones that came in the box this Christmas that had the origami fold down on the top of it. And if you watch my channel, I hauled them and I said, look, you can make a really cute snowman out of them and give it to somebody as a gift. They're crappy, by the way, so they're not good candles. The plastic wrap on the candle itself, the glass melts as the candle's burning. I don't know if you can, this one hasn't gotten there yet, but as soon as it gets down to a certain point, anyway, it doesn't matter. That's just that, but these. So in a tin, you're, you're good. Oh, I can't wait to burn one of these. Okay, so those were an amazing find. And then I found this and I was like, what? Okay, and these are, it was a candle run. These are by Birch and Vine, where value and style meet. And this, these are distributed, but I don't even know who they're distributed by. Distributed by, cannot read this writing on here because it's so small. Um, yeah, I can't tell you guys. I don't know. It's so small, but get this. It's like a little honey pot with a bee on it. It's like little handles here all in the glass. How cute is that? And then, um, this one is sunflower. It says sunflowers. Oh, very floral. Nice. And then there's a second one and I was like, these are so cute. And this one is called fresh milk. And again, with the little bee, how cute, again, such a cute gift idea, right? Just stack them up, make them a pile of little candles or a gift basket. So this one is fresh milk. I'm so in love with the candles. It smells, yep. Yeah, it smells almost like coconut. Anyway, okay, well, it smells good. They all smell, all the candles smell good. So, which by the way, when I do my lantern thing, um, my lantern video next week, I also made some watch it, but I made some homemade candles as part of my, for my lanterns, you'll see when you watch the video. Okay, so win on the candles, but if you see these iFly Smart boxes with the two, yes, 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 and yes. I'm like, I feel like I could buy them and give them as Christmas gifts because they were so cool, especially like this one, which is like the cute little cabin, or what was the other one that was Cabin Fever? This, no, that's Sunshine, where, no, I guess it was just, this was the only one was Cabin Fever, yeah. So anyway, that would be so good for Christmas. I know that's a ways off, but I'm gonna be here sooner than you think. All right, so down that same aisle, um, they, I don't know that they've had these before. I feel like, have I seen these before? But so cute, the little honey thing. And right now I'm doing lanterns. And so I think, actually I think I'm gonna make this a I mean, it is sort of a lantern or it's just a jar, but I'm gonna finish it up and really make it kind of a cute little lantern. And I'm hoping that my solar light will fit in there because that was the idea that I had just because I love the beehive, um, the 
beehive shape of the glass. I'm, I know I'm peeling the stickers off while I'm talking to you. Such an obsession. It's just, oh, I hate their stickers. And guess what? It came off. So life is good. But if it works out, what I'm looking to do is to put a solar light in here and then it would just be this cute little solar um, lantern. Okay. And then they had these also think very adorable. Love the shape of these. This looks like an old gas lantern kind of shape, right? Especially when the handle is up like that. So with both of these, that I had that thought. I will try it. If it doesn't work, they're still cute little um, jars. So farmhouse too, right? They're like so farmhouse. Okay, so love those. And then I found one little vase. Now, here's the thing. They had these in like a smoky glass and then also like a clear, I think it was. They're calling this a color glass vase. So it is glass. This seems to be painted black, but it's very chic looking. I love this. And I was thinking reeds with, um, with uh, scented oils in it as a diffuser, um, you know, just to smell good in your house or, or put some florals in it. But I really saw it more as a holder of um, oil and put reeds in it, right? Am I saying all that correctly? I think so. I don't know. Diffusers, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that's what I saw it is, but they did have it in two others. One was like a smoky, almost got that one. And the other one was clear, but I thought if I was gonna use it as a diffuser, I don't necessarily wanna see the level of the oil in there. I'm just going for the scent coming out of it. Okay, and then last week you would have seen me haul the black and the whites of these. And then, um, and I said, there's a gray. And then I found the gray. And I said to you guys, I really wanna make it a coaster. Somebody suggested throwing resin on there but you're still, your problem is, even if you put resin on, this little portion here, and it's too high. Like if I had something flat, um, if you can see, see how it's like wobbling on that center. But I think I can sand this down and make it a coaster. So now I have, I only got one gray. I think I have a set of five, whatever. But I think these would be fine coasters too. Just be a really classy, high-end looking coaster set. Maybe, I don't know. But um, I just think they're super cool looking. I just love this. And if it was flat, it would make a really cool stamp too, right? You could just like ink it down on something. It's not though, but we'll see. I will make something with it, I'm not sure what. This is, I've seen this somebody once. I saw somebody once haul, haul it. And so I hauled it. I have a, um, I'm gonna get it. So I purchased this there um, a while ago. And it is welcome our Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter if you know this because you know you're, you're not here. So <laughs> it's like I purchased this and for our Wi-Fi. But now what happened was it was up in the office and since we've downsized everything, everything is all decor pieces of whatnot are now going on the massive living room wall that's full of crates. So this doesn't really sit there very well. And so I thought maybe I might replace it with this just because it's I'm not explaining myself well, but if yeah, it does make sense. So I was gonna replace, even though I absolutely love this one, I think it's super cute. I'm gonna replace because this I can just stand anywhere. Be like, here's your Wi-Fi versus that one's hanging. Okay, and then these are brand new picture frames. In hindsight, like they only had three colors. Maybe I could do a triangle one, but I was like, this would make such a cool lantern if you bought two and two of any of them. But they're the particle board, look at these geometric designs on them. And they have a black, a gray and a wood. I love all three designs. Any of these, if you bought four, would make a fabulous lantern, right? Just put four together and you'd have this super cool lantern. So now I didn't buy them for that. Um, I did buy them because I just thought they were pretty cool um, picture frames. But I will say this. So this one looks finished because the, the press board is, is okay match with that wood grain. Whereas this one I think looks unfinished. Like we need to paint all the all the little crev crevices gray, which is what I would do. And this one they all need to be painted black. That's just me. So, um, but these are brand new. I do think they're, I, I just think they're nice. I kind of like them. It's interesting too. You know what they did, you guys? This is new. Look, the this kickstand. They have a piece of elastic on it. You know why? Because they probably have so much breakage from them when they're just loose and people are they're traveling in boxes and they're trying to set them up. So they pack this way. Anyway, 
I thought those were cool. I kind of like them and um, I can use them or I might regift them or something, I'm not sure. And then there's these. So it's like, these are so farmhouse, which is what I like about them. Check these out. They are particle board, they're not wood. Now they've given us the wood rounds and I was thinking, man, if I could get this paper off there, I'd put it on a wood round. But here's what I love. So it's not wood, it's the press board, but we've got some some beads on the top, which look, they're, the one in the middle is larger. Good, good job, Dolly Tree. They've got the sprigs down here, right? There's no glitter. Not one little sprinkle of anything. No glitter on it. Um, but again, it's not finished. Like, I, I hate this. Whatever. I'm going to take it apart and do something with it. Don't know. But we have the welcome. Also, it would be great on a wreath. We have the love. And then we have blessed. You know, psychologically, there's something wrong when you go into a house and every other word on the on the walls is blessed. It's like me thinks that does protest too much. I don't think I have one blessed up in my home, actually. I have one grateful. Just a little sign. Yeah. All right. And then I have a sign that says, I'm looking at my wall. Like I have a sign that says, I love loving you. But I mean, I just, yeah, not a big bunch of words around. Okay. So now in the crafting section. So they're doing this fairly new thing with all of these patches. Have you seen all the patches? Check out the mermaids. I love the mermaids. And then the daisy and the feather. All right, so follow me, you guys. I have a lot of denim jackets. I love denim jackets. It's like my favorite jacket accessory, clothing accessory thing to wear. So I want to take a one of my denim jackets and I'm going to cover it in patches, all different patches. So these are iron-on, which is phenomenal because it makes it super easy. So I'm collecting all these patches. I'm gonna take a denim jacket and do that. But then they had all these too, and I was like, oh God, this is so much fun. So I was thinking I'm gonna cover my denim jacket in patches like this, and then I'm gonna flip it inside out and cover the inside with these. Because these are patches, but they are, let's see. Okay, so first of all, let's go through what they have. They got doggies, yes. They have kitties. They have birdies, they have feathers, and they have anchors. Okay, and they show you like all kinds of things, you know, like here, put it on a purse, how you do it. But wouldn't it be super cute to have the inside of your jacket just be covered with these iron, these iron on? So I'm gonna open one up just to show you guys. Um, I just think it'd be a super obnoxious, fun jacket, so I can't wait to do it. These are like material. They are so soft, so thin. It is a, it's a sew patches on the, the knees of the jeans for your little boy. Do you remember that thin, like the material? You guys, this is so thin, but so soft. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for what I'm talking about. But I'm wondering how I get, okay, wait. Here we go, it peels up. So can you see how thin that is? Okay, this is gonna be so cool, I can't wait. So I think I'm gonna start it because I can always add more patches on, right? I'll just start. And I just thought it would be so fun to put these on the inside of my jacket. So then the inside of my jacket would be fun too. And because these are so flat, it won't affect how it wears versus these, which are more three-dimensional. So of course it couldn't be on the inside because it would be scratchy and whatnot. So that's my idea. That's what I'm collecting patches for to do my denim jacket just covered in patches. Okay, and the very last two things in the craft aisle, and then I'm gonna show you my favorite item, my favorite item, my favorite, favorite. Nothing to do with cows, nope. It does have something to do with animals. Yes, you are correct. You'll see. Okay, so two craft items that I found. I'm like, Bob, ooh, score. Don't know what this is. I mean, I know what it is, but I've never seen it before. It is um, distributed by class, I don't know, wait, wait, manufactured, it's in another language. Okay, anyway, it's called Ek Tools. So it's interesting, it has a date on the back, 12, 16 of 16. What, been sitting in a warehouse somewhere, have you? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm contemplating if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm gonna send it off. Scarlett loves to do art, so does Lazarus. So I was thinking like, I don't know. I'm hoping Lazarus is going to come out here, though. I'm trying to get Laz to move out here with Isabella. Say a prayer, you guys. Everybody say a prayer for me that Laz will come out here. 
so I can help him get his young life in order. <laughs> you know, young adults. Okay, he's the one that just had the baby, but he needs to come. He needs to come get himself a good career. It's hard in small town Iowa. There's just not as many opportunities. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna pull it out for you. So there's all this, oh, this is cool. Buck 25, what a great gift for a teacher. So there's all this chalk in here, and then this is a chalk tool. So cool. So you put your chalk inside of it, and then you can write without getting chalk all on your hands. This is pretty cool, you guys. I might have to keep it. I mean, but why? I don't know. Anyway, a buck 25. Now we know this wasn't a buck 25. Sharon, you're gonna look it up for me, right? It's called Eck Tools. Super cool, 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 cool thing. Great gift for any, any kids or artists or anything, just a great gift. Um, I didn't pull the chalks out, but they, I'm assuming they're gonna be a higher end chalk, but who knows. And this is our chalk sticks and holder. Let you create your favorite chalk designs and craft projects. And then it, it has it in multiple languages. So right there. It looks like it's French and um, Spanish or something. I don't know. I don't know my languages. Okay. Then I found the ultimate craft find. So the chalk was great. And then I found this one, which I've seen other people haul. And luckily I found one. Yes. So this is the tie-dye kit. Manufacture, it's Tulip, Tulip. Tulip is a big craft name. Tulip is paint. They do, um, I think I've gotten um, material paints from the Dollar Tree by Tulip, but this has, it's a 54 piece pack. You can dye up to 30 projects. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, so there's 40, there's five squeeze bottles containing dye, which this is phenomenal. Dollar Tree, you can get one bottle of dye. It's half this size for a buck 25. Or if you're lucky enough to find this, you can get all this for a buck 25. I was just dying. I was like, what? So it's got yellow, red, violet, blue, and green in it. It's got eight protective gloves. Oh, it's got a project guidebook in here too. What? Fun, fun, fun. And um, so, and you just add water, apply dye, wrap, let it set, and then rinse and reveal. It's got that back there. Great gift. And at the Dollar Tree, you can find t-shirts all the time. So find this and get a couple t-shirts. Great gift for the child that's got that artist boom in him or just the crazy one that will, will love to go crazy with some colors. Parents will hate you, but that's okay. This is so, invite him to your house to do it. This is such a good buy. So if you find this, obviously buy that. Sharon, look it up. How much is this tulip tie-dye set normally? Um, and it doesn't have a date on it or anything. So I don't know like why they're there. We don't know. We never know why. We don't, do we? All right, but now I'm gonna show you my favorite find, and then I'm going to do a little demonstration for you of these. So, I saw one person haul these, one, and it was Thirsty Tiffany, right? I think so. And um, yeah, she has cats, and she found the Marilyn Monroe brand, which is this, and this is matching pet and owner socks. I'm dying, totally dying. So it shows a little doggy in here. Now, I, my daughter, if she watches this, she knows I'm gonna send these to her. But I'm sending these to her for Valentine's Day because she got she has mommy and daddy chihuahua, Jax's parents, or are they? Because they're much smaller than Jax. Mm-hmm. So Jax, who's like 13 pounds, pretty big for a chihuahua. And dad's only like nine and mom's only six. Mm hmm, mm-hmm, somebody get out of the yard? I don't think so, I think it's a throwback. But whatever, it doesn't matter. So we just got the giant chihuahua. It's a new breed, giant chihuahua. It's just a new breed, you know, like what's a bucket. He thinks he's a cow. You're right, he thinks he's as big as a cow. All right, so I got these, but I've, of course I'm gonna keep a set and I'm going to go put a set on Jax and we're gonna play, have a little fun watching him. So I put a sweater on him because it's kind of cold. He doesn't like to go outside when it's cold, so I got him like this jacket sweater thing. And I put him on him and it fro did I tell you the story last week and he froze, he wouldn't move. He's like, uh, what is this? So he'll probably do the same thing with these. But now let me show you what I got. So this is Marilyn Monroe, very girly. So obviously this one's gonna go to Emma for Juanita. Jax's mommy is getting those. And then we have this one which says, and these socks on the back I should show you, it's just doggy and it's just a pattern. But then this brand is called Chatties. 
And so this one is matching pet and owner crew socks. It says for small pups. And this one says rough day, I need a treat on the owner socks. And the little socks are just little paws and, no, and non-slips. Okay, so I'm also think I'm gonna send these to Emma for maybe daddy who's Mattis. And then I think I'll send her the purple pair for Juanita because it's just, Jax isn't gonna like sunflowers and butterflies. Well, maybe he would, but anyway. So it's also got the pink on and I'm sending, I'm sending that off to Juanita. So I think the one that I'm gonna keep and put on Jax because I think this color will look very good with his complexion. You know, he's that, he's that golden color. So I think this is gonna look super cute on him. And there's a little bit of pink for mommy on there. I think it's totally fine. So again, these are my favorite thing. I'm gonna break away here in a minute and put them on Jax. But these are chatties. You know these are not a buck 25, you guys. These are probably $12.99 at some fancy boutique store or at Petco. I don't know where they would have had them. And Sharon, I know you will look it up. By the way, Sharon, thank you for the vegan food video about Dollar Tree. I'm not sure I sent you a response anyway. Um, cause for those of you who don't know, we've gone vegan and Sharon sent me a video on vegan food at Dollar Tree, which I had already gone through like their whole stuff looking for their vegan signs. So I said, okay. Anyway, back to this. So I'm going to go put these on Jacks. All right, everybody have a great day. Great week, a great life. This was kind of a long video. I feel like, but what a great haul. There were so many good things in this haul. What was your favorite thing? And what are you going to be looking for? Hmm? You'd have to have a cat or a dog. I feel like the cat would just go insane. They all show dogs on here. So I feel like it's really more of a doggy thing. I feel like cats, they're so independent. I don't think it would work, but I'm going to put it on Jax. So have a great day, great week, a great life. Stick around if you want to see little Jax video. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing. And don't forget, give me that two, 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 thumbs up. And leave a response. My goal for 2024 is to respond to all responses. Man, if I ever had so many that I couldn't, that would be a good thing, but I still can. So, all right, Effingham. Goodbye, besties. Thank you, Effingham. All right, goodbye, besties. I love you. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, what song did I sing? I get to this point, I can't remember. Like, yeah. Uh, what, what was it? Wait, it's on my iPad. I can look that way. What, you guys, I know you're all singing it right now, but I can't remember, right? Because I've been talking so much. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was. Um, I looked out the window and I stared out the mind and I I could be. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay, so everybody <laughs> from your singing crafty crafter. Now I miss you more than I missed you before and when now we're all fine comfort. I know and my local Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, me and my Dollar Tree. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, everybody. I love you, besties. Stay, let's stay if you want to see Jax in his, his socks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, look, Jax, what's that you have on? Jax, Jax, make him go get a, get a no, get a treat, get a treat, <laughs> get a treat to make him dance. Oh, Jax. okay, <laughs> get a treat. Jax, a treat. Jax, do your do your dance. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, good, good boy. boy. But he lost two socks. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, they don't stay on, everybody. Just so you know. Good boy, Jack. One more. Up. Good boy. Good boy. He dances. Good boy. Yeah. Well, as you can see, they don't stay on. Maybe you're just too big for the socks like everything else, huh? Come here, Jack. You want to walk? Come here. Walk to mommy. Jax, come here. No, he's looking like, but dad, you have the treats. Come on. Oh, see, he walks with the front ones. He's kind of prancing. He's like, how do I get rid of him? Jax. <laughs> Poor baby. All right. There's that review. They fall off. What are you going to do with it? Jax is going to try and get the other one. Can you, those are staying on. On the front, huh? Dad's cleaning up your treat mess. Yeah. I hope floor needs to be mopped anyway. Okay, now that's on video. <laughs> There's Kat trying to figure out what the socks are. Maybe we should put those on you Friday, huh? What would you do? Okay, so now Friday. <laughs> nope, those aren't gonna last long, are they? Friday, why don't you, you don't want your socks on? 
He's like, nope. He's like, you were gonna match Jax. Freddy does not like this. Oh, there they go. They went off. Oh, Jax, you still have yours on, huh? So the front ones stay on. Look, they match mommy. We have matching socks, Jax. Yeah, I know, boobos. Okay, well, they're a fun little novelty. Let me try and get them off. What you got here? Hmm? Try and get it off? You're gonna lick it off. Well, good for you. You're a smart little baby, huh? <laughs> ah, you're funny.